Well, Raphael, the holiday shopping season is officially underway, and this year more than ever, we know small businesses in our area, they're hoping that you'll remember them and support them. And as you know, Lauren, our Rebound Indiana initiative focuses on helping you and businesses across Indiana get through this pandemic. WRTV's Amanda Starantino, she traveled right here to Johnson County and she talked to some shop owners explaining why tomorrow, Saturday, it matters to shop local. It's definitely not my favorite year. It's been a little bit of a struggle. We ended up um, closing our doors, uh, I think it was March 13th, and um, we just had to get very creative with what we were doing. For many, this year has been tough and small businesses got hit hard with the pandemic closures and restrictions, forcing many owners to do whatever they can to stay afloat. It's just been a constant like rebalancing game, refocusing, thinking about new ways to do things. It, it's hard every day to kind of come and make up a new thing. And how do I how do I change my business from something that has been working to what fits in today's society. So we're all under a lot of strain to, to adjust and pivot. Whatever we can do to continue to bring in funding is what we have to do and we just have to uh, struggle through it. Without the Small Business Association's COVID response loans, the Paycheck Protection Program and the Economic Injury Disaster Loans, a lot of small businesses that spoke to us say they would not have been able to survive to this point. It was the most difficult year I've ever had to manage. For us personally, it was more of a staffing issue, trying to keep everybody that you wanted employed, and then that way when you reopen, that everybody was available to you. As long as they wanted to come back and felt comfortable, we retained all of our employees. And the SBA is urging shoppers to continue to support them so these stores can continue to stay in our communities. So I think where it's really important, if you want to see those small businesses stay in your community, which you know they're the lifeblood of that community, they hire folks locally. You know, they support the local sports programs and sports teams. They are entrenched in these communities and we need them to survive. They employ 50% of all Hoosiers for small businesses. Statistics from American Express's Small Business Saturday website show 62% of small business owners need to see consumer spending back at pre-pandemic levels by the end of the year or they won't survive. Shopping local is just a small price to pay for quality that you simply cannot find online. Considering we're a full service shop, you can't get service online. You can't touch the product. Uh, you don't have the communication with another person who actually knows what they're doing. Uh, if you shop too much online, we, not, might, we might not be here anymore. So who's going to service your bike? And the last Yelp local economic impact report shows that in the wake of COVID-19, changing the way stores and restaurants must operate, Yelp says they see both permanent and temporary closures rise across the nation, with 60% of those closed businesses not reopening. That is almost 100,000 businesses that are now closed for good across the U.S. We just go day by day. That's all you can really do right now and see how things turn out for you. Many Hoosier small businesses are asking shoppers this year to support their neighbors. Shop small and put your community first so we can all rebound together. We are just really trying to say this has to be a way of life. If you love having a thriving community and downtown shopping district, places to eat, you have to think of them first. Part of it is your community and the, and the community getting together and saying this is an important place. This is something that we have gone to all our lives and, uh, and, and we need to keep it going. I just would like, like everybody to know that they, every time they shop small, they really are encouraging the business owners in a way that they might not realize by responding to the efforts that we've made either on social media or advertising and coming in and actually shopping with us. We, it means the world to us. Working for you in Johnson County, Amanda Starantino, WRTV News. Amanda, thank you. Store managers and owners say to shop early this year, especially if you have anything you need to order because of the supply chain issues and shipping times slower with COVID-19 restrictions in place.